What is good? We're back. We're rolling. Just did the wide receivers. Gonna get in some running backs. Same kind of deal here. What is, what is the deal? What are we calling it? Uh, you gotta figure out the name yourself. So, what we're doing is recapping kind of what's been going on in the uh, college season. Too many characters <laughs> for the title. Um, but we got we did the wide receivers. Now we got the running backs. Uh, I'm gonna just kind of again touch on the top ones it's not necessarily our top ones we just kind of went through uh and got the consensus top guys and we're going to touch on them just kind of keep you up to date with with where they were what they did on the season whether they were hurt or not hurt or all, all sorts of uh fun stuff so let's get it rolling before we do like subscribe comment below all that jazz um but let's not let that get that get in the way of uh talking about some running backs so you guys want to start at the top or you want to start at the bottom or you not necessarily the, the, the yeah. bottom. The only for sure top is Bijan and maybe Gibbs and then the rest are, seems yeah. like, you know, stack them however you like. So uh, where do you guys want to pick well, up? Well, Sewell's are with Bijan. All right. Bijan. So we got Bijan Robinson coming in at six foot, 220 pounds. That mm. puts him at a BMI of 29.8. Oh boy, you got the BMIs over there. Oh, yeah. Never have I ever. <laughs> yeah, the BMIs. <laughs> gotta, gotta love the BMI. What's the height adjusted weight speed score though? <laughs> don't have it yet. It's not going 40 time. Can't know anything until the combine. I don't even know why we're doing this. <laughs> it's a fair question. <laughs> so uh, Mr. Robinson in the 2022 season, uh, 1,575 rushing yards. That's uh, at 6.1 yards per carry. Don't ask me the carries. If you want to do the math. Mm-hmm. It's got 20 total touchdowns, 29 <laughs> targets, 19 receptions, another 314 receiving yards, and he sit at a cool 99 missed tackles forced. Boy, cool. That is number one in the country. Damn. Something tells him he's going to get to 100. Fifth in yards, fourth in touchdowns, receiving stats real strong. Eighth in receiving yards. Yeah. Got a career target share of 11.4%. That is good for a 60, 66th percentile. So, And he can catch. Second in yards per catch. It was something crazy. And then fourth in ADOT, which was 13.4. How do you have a 13.4 ADOT as a running back? I mean, have you seen some of those highlights he's been putting up? He does do them back shoulder fades yeah. and shit. He's just incredible. One one in your super flex draft, yes? Uh, maybe. Maybe? Maybe. You gotta take one of them two quarterbacks? You depends quarterback? on the landing depends on the landing spot. Ah, fuck the landing spot. Fuck them. Fuck the landing spot. I'm sick of landing spots. Even if they're celibate. I'm <laughs> fuck them, fuck them. Married to the game. <laughs> Call me Kevin Federlin. It's obvious I'll be married to, to the death of him. Crazy bitch. Call me Kevin Federlin. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Moving on. No, I mean, like, for real, though, like, fuck landing spots, right? Look no, I mean, no, 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 not, not, just, not just, like... Look at Garrett Wilson, no, you know? No, no, you're you're misconstruing things. Just want to make sure they go to a spot where they're going to be able to... Com- Don't care. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm not misconstruing Fi- finish it. This finish, your, finish your thought. Are you going to let me finish? Uh, I'm going to finish? finish first. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, we hear that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's a race, bitch. <laughs> yeah, and you always win. Uh, I'm trying. Single time. All right, what do you got? I mean, we just want to make sure they go to a spot where they're going to have to sit for a year. That's all. Yeah. Okay. That's all. That's all I wanted to say. That's Bijan. all I wanted to say. You mean like the quarterback? I'm talking about the quarterbacks. I'm talking yeah. about the quarterbacks. Bijan, I'm not, I don't care about the landing spot. Yeah. I'll take Bijan one one right now, sure. Lock him in already. Just Fine lock it just in. You lock it in. Marker it. In. <laughs> it's lock it up. By I the know, way, I just changed it. But the tone. You lock it up. The tone was God really correct. Damn, you're always in my ass. Mm. <laughs> 90, you wish. I didn't 99 say anything. Missed tackles forces. I didn't say anything fucking pejorative about any Clemson players. You better not. Did yeah. You, did you drop that set already? 99 missed mm-hmm. tackles force? Yes, I did already. You're going to get to 100. Going to get to 100. I, I'd put a strong wager he's going to get to 100. Well, he may not play the bowl game, so. Yeah. He, he, he said, may not play the bowl game. He said he wasn't sure what he was doing. Yeah. I don't know. 
Yeah, Penn State. Whoa, Penn, Penn State sick. already had their first player. Um, uh, that's sitting at the bowl game today. Just sit, Bo. What are you doing? Yeah. Well, just I just mean as far as maybe he's coming back. Just oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> fucking right. I'll bet you my house he maybe, doesn't come maybe back. He loves Shit. I'll yeah, bet I, you my what house. What do you have to give up? Your house? <laughs> I'm keeping my house. <laughs> Not putting. We're raising for pinks. <laughs> I already bet my house on Saturday. I already bet my house on Thursday on on a penalty kick. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean Bijan's been been he ain't strong prospect. Home. I think we could keep it moving here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I think we're. I think everyone knows that Bijan Robinson's pretty pretty good. Not just a mustard. So we'll move on to another strong player in Jameer Gibbs, who transferred from Georgia Tech to Alabama. The rambling wreck. Strong move. 2022, yeah, definitely a strong move. Um, this past year, he's put up 850 yards on the ground. It's good for 6.3 yards per carry. 10 total touchdowns, 50 targets, 42 receptions, another 378 yards on the ground with 35 missed tackles. And he's coming in at 5'11", 200 pounds for that 27.9 Got a 2002 birthday, too, so index. he's young, only 20. I like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't really care too much about the age when it comes to running backs. No? no. It's nice when they're fucking young as shit, though, right? I mean, come on. Easy there, Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. I did give it a little... Mm, when you said it was... <laughs> 20. He the, the the thing about this man is not not just the home run ability but just the receiving. Oh my yeah. god, right? It's like, oh my god. Like he's like girls in tennis wear skirts. Oh my god. Like he is fucking slaying it. He's eighth in targets, fifth in receptions, third in yards, fourth in yak, second in missed force tackles on receptions like just slaying all the receiving stats from from a running back standpoint. I think in a couple games here, he's been Alabama's leading receiver. Right. They're all, he, he's been like, it's like, holy shit, don't they have anyone else that they can go to? No, just him. They're they're not they're they're not the strongest they've been in. in no, they are not. Yeah, they lost two position. games. No, I just mean from the skill position. Yeah, no, um, you're right. So he's you're right. He's pretty solid. What's the receipt? Forty two receptions. Yeah. I think that's a done deal. Yeah. Not, yeah. I mean, 24, 35, 42. Only if he's 5'3". Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Jeez, 5'3". In this case, it'd be him. Um, but three receiving touchdowns. Little small, 5'11", 200. That's fine. That's fine. The well, sizes. And this is, that's well, fine. It's, it's, not, it's not the worst. Plus, really, you're buying this guy, obviously, for the athleticism and what he can do running. But the, yeah. the pass catching is, is yeah. the allure here, I think, right? Yeah. That's what we want. The Alvin Kamara comps are going to come for sure. Sure. But it's really just any guy who can make their hay with a little bit more on the catching side of things. And, and that's really, again, going to you know come down to the right guy, getting him and the right team using him. Um, the way that that he could be best used. Yeah, um, the mock draft I like that had him going at like the as like the thirty first overall pick. Yeah, so I mean Chargers. If the Chargers could could you know obviously Eckler's there, but that's he's yeah. Bijan was cop a, him to all the smaller Bichon pass catchers. Bijan was a mid first in that mock. So yeah, um, projected four four six in the forty. Yeah, he's he's got he, wheels. He's fast enough. He's fast. Yeah, he looks fast as hell on the field. It looks so. like he can't catch him. Um, yeah, I think those guys are kind of consensus locked into the top two. Not sure if I'm as bullish as on Gibbs. I'd probably probably take the two quarterbacks right yeah. now over him. And Superflex. Yeah. Well, obviously. Well, sure. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, in your brawl. All right. Are you next? taking him over all the wide receiver? I, I can't. It's too soon for me yeah, to tell. Too I, would, soon, yeah. I would say if, if he's that high up in most people's opinion and from what I know of him and watching him, Probably, I, I probably will just again because if I'm in the rookie drafts, I'm, I want the the top tier running backs over just about anything. I mean, if you're super flex, sure you can mix in some quarterbacks there, uh, but they're just again right now look look around like there's no good way to get a running back. This is your best chance. Give me those guys um, and then heavy receiver um, after that, but. It's the easiest way, cheapest way to restock the, the cabinet on running backs, and, and boy, do they need restocking. So, um, I think that I think you want so young. I think the mock had thirty one to the Eagles. That'd be a Gibbs. Yeah. Eh. Eh. I, I like think it. the only I think the only <laughs> RB they have signed next year is Gainwell. Yeah, but I don't know. 
Yeah. It would. It, I mean, Hurts could throw it to that guy. Sure. I don't like it. I don't love it. Look what. Look what. It's got to be easy to rush in that attack. From from a running back standpoint. Yeah, but they just don't, they don't give it. They don't. If they feature Miles, he's good. But they just they get all yeah. they get all wonky with the shit that they do. Yeah, with the last week back. he put up like twenty five carries and like one hundred and forty rushing yards. Yeah, I mean touchdowns. He's, he's Miles Sanders is good. They should fucking resign him. That, they said that. Well, they, this is just going off. Right. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I think they'll try and resign Sanders, but I think they have a bunch of uh, defensive guys who are free agents as well. I'm saying yuck. I wouldn't drop him. I wouldn't be like, oh, he's out of the two spot now because he went to the Eagles. Ugh. But, no. no. Do not draft. Yeah. All right. Well, who's you next? didn't say yuck. You said that. Like it was like a disrespectful. So word. next yeah. on my list, which has nothing to do with any list, is I have Sean Tucker must die. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Coming in at 5'10", even shorter, but 210 pounds. That's good for a 30.1 BMI. Where'd you get your weight from? Your mom's house. I mean, you could just do the math. I know, but all these different weights. I'm just wondering what size. I use it from that website that we were talking about mm-hmm. earlier. Mm-hmm. Those fucking clowns. player profiler. It's a good website. The fact they even have college players on there, kudos to them, you know, and they're doing it week by week, you know. Uh, it's a great website. Update update your stats. I need this most recent week. <laughs> I'm not trying to hate on the website. Website's solid. I would appreciate if you would update your I'm not trying to hate on anybody. Right? We love everybody over here. Nah, I that. got a ring to it. I do not love everyone. All right, so this past year, he's got uh, 1,062 rushing yards, good for 5.2 per clip, 13 total touchdowns, 52 targets, 37 receptions, 262 receiving yards, and 46 missed tackles forced. He has come back to earth a little bit in the rushing stats from 2021. He's down in yards per carry, down in yards, down in total touchdowns, and missed tackles forced. Yeah. But the receiving stats are up, up, up. Yeah, that, I was surprised to see his name popping when sorting through those receiving stats. What you mentioned, tied for third in targets, eighth, tied for third in, sorry, tied for eighth in receptions, third in targets, 23rd in yards. Yeah. Looks like a pretty good player. Got to love the self awareness on Twitter. Projected time of 545. 545. Five, 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 I'm sorry. Not drafting him. I'm a dyslexic <laughs> as fuck. Four five four. That's dysgraphic, actually. Just so you know. Um, <laughs> with numbers, yeah. Nah, it's nerds. <laughs> What's it called? <laughs> I've never heard that term. Um, see, he seems to be semi polarizing. I feel like some people are like that are that. I feel like the people who are high on him are constantly getting attacked by by people saying that he's overrated. I don't have an opinion one way or another quite yet. Seems fine to me. Seems pretty good. Yeah. Um, Plays on a not great team. I mean, they're they're, an okay team. They were ranked at one point. Yeah. Yeah, Those orange orange teams from the ACC usually aren't very good, though. ACC's got a fair amount of ranked teams in it. Yeah, but they're not very good. (laughs) Can't say I've seen a ton of Syracuse. We we, we shut them down pretty well, if I do (laughs) recall. I mean, Clemson. Shut them down, open up shop. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Um. All right, let's keep it going. Uh, up next, we have Zach Zachary Evans, whatever you want to call him, mm-hmm. transferred to Ole Miss mm-hmm. from Texas Christian University in 2022. He comes in at 5'11", 195 pounds, getting smaller here, 27.2 BMI. He is at 893 yards, but he's at 6.6 yards per clip, so not too shabby there. Nine TDs, only thirteen targets, eight receptions. Definitely not a pass catcher. I he's at a, he has a career target share of four point two percent at the twenty first percentile. He's the second worst pass catcher we're going to talk about today. Certainly on the do not draft list with that. Yeah, can't do it. Doesn't pass some does obviously do, he does not meet some certain thresholds there. But just because he just because he hasn't done as mean he can't do it. Just. Just, it's just that, something for the tickler file. That, was my, that was, might be the biggest realest facts you've talked tonight. Uh, so, what? Just because he hasn't done yep. it doesn't mean he can't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like it. So, Ole Miss, pretty good team this year. I think they have. I think they have another running back as well too. It's not I think, bad. I think I know the least about him of any yeah. of these running backs. I know a list that I saw that of, of a Big Twelve 
Big 12 running backs, someone rated him the best TCU running back of all time. Oh, wow. Apparently they forgot about LaDainian Tomlinson. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Or did they? And this dude's just fucking awesome. Little, like you said, little on the smaller side, um, and not the not the pass catching prowess. So right off the rip, probably some dings for him. Gonna have to dive deeper into that one to really figure out yeah. if if we're gonna. Oh, and he has a uh, thirty three miss. Sorry, is that sorry? Fifty one missed tackles forced in the season. So still making some, still making some people. No, sorry, thirty three missed tackles forced. My apologies. Mm. So still making some guys miss, but twenty six in two thousand twenty one with only six games. So, got some chops. Yeah. All right. What's next? Up next, we have who you got for me? Devin Achain. Okay. All right. From Texas A and M. You think you think he's coming out? Yeah. Yeah, I do. All right. Small. Yeah, he's coming in at uh, five nine one eighty five. Yeah, definitely on the smaller side. Twenty seven point three BMI. So he's actually bigger than. Evans, according to BMI. Hmm. Why do we even have cool. scales? Yeah. I, I, well, you need the height. Well, and, yeah. and according to charts, the, all these pe- all these men are overweight, so morbidly obese, <coughs> with their six pack abs and. Yep. I think that's Adonis more of physiques. like. I think when they when they classify the overweightness, it's like as a population, not necessarily like for no a, for no. athletes. Yep. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Definitely. It's a terrible measure of physical fitness. What's Anyways, up with, with a chain, it's not a chain. It's a chain. I think it's a chain. You usually always got the. That's the way they're. Pro- that's the way they're so. pronouncing it on football on the LSU game. All right. A chain. A chain. A chain. He's actually better in the stats. Than I thought he was. Gonna yeah. Be. Yeah. No, he's super <laughs> fucking explosive. This yeah. dude's a track star. Yeah. Eleven hundred rushing yards, five point six yards per carry, eleven touchdowns, forty four targets, thirty six receptions. 196 receiving yards, 51 missed tackles forced. He looked good when I was watching him on Saturday. He was banged up and still putting a hurt on LSU. Had over like 230 rushing yards. So projected 424. I didn't dyslexia that. No, that's good. Or what is you disenfranchise? What was the uh, <laughs> term for missing up the numbers? D- Disgraphic. Disgraphic. Y'all better check out Disgraphic below. <laughs> 21 going on 22 and into the NFL season this year. Uh, so in October, but 21 right now. Um, definitely. A lot of people were really feeling this guy because they're like, fuck Spiller, wait till you see this guy. Yeah. yeah. and He's good. You know, what's, I guess the big thing from probably keeping him maybe out of being super drafted is the size. Like super, like first round, I'm not sure if he's going to yeah. make it into the first round of drafts no, by the time it's all I said would, and done. Uh, first round of rookie drafts? Right. He could. I mean, I he's think a running back. I, I could see him being at the end of it right now. Yeah. It just seems like he's going to be a little smaller. And like, what's the what exactly is the role going to be? He can catch a little bit. Before I'm just saying, like, you need to needs to be built some somewhere. I I, I think tied for 11th in targets, 13th in receptions. They, you know, again, haven't dove into anything concrete. This is yeah. strictly from going on memory and watching games and in, in yeah. pieces of games in the past. Um. But no, he's he's a lot of fun. Give you a big play at any point. Sure. Um, so definitely some some electricity there with 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 the a chain a chain pick. So I, De- Devin A. I think that's gonna he he'll end up in the back of first top of seconds kind of deal. Yeah, I think that's probably a the, a wise. God prediction. forbid he goes to Buffalo and. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta be done getting fast catching back. So uh, I don't know. I don't know what they're, they're not gonna give it to him. Just, <laughs> just Although, quit fronting. Cook looking better and better. Uh, not necessarily getting a ton of ton of run. But he looking, looks good. Yeah. I like the way he looks. Looking better and better. Those we, those Levi's. Who do we got next? We got Zach. Uh, Zach. I think it's Sharp Charbonnet, not Charbonnet. 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 He's the only senior running back that I looked up. So he, he came back last year. He said, yeah. "I'm coming back." Yeah, he transferred to UCLA last year um, from Michigan. So another transfer on our hands here. Mister Charbonnet has the highest yards per carry of anyone I've in the list far as at seven for one thousand three hundred fifty eight yards this year. He's got fourteen touchdowns, also has forty four targets, thirty seven receptions, three hundred and twenty. Receiving yards and fifty 
missed tackles forced. I know that Charbonnet uh, definitely came onto the scene as a freshman when he was still in Michigan, and then kind of just did nothing his sophomore year. I think there was something going on with him and Harbaugh or – he was banged up. Yeah, was, something was weird was going weird on there, and they transferred. So. Banged his horrible wife. <laughs> it's usually what happens. Sure. Love the size here, 6'1", 220. Yeah, definitely uh, definitely more your traditional running back size, him and uh And, and has Bichon. receiving chops, yeah. right? Tied yeah. for 11th in targets, 8th in receptions, 7th in yards. Yeah, career target share of 9.3%, which is 74th percentile for running back. So. Oh, oh. Oh, he's better than Kev Walker already. It's, it's, it's going to come down with this guy of what the I think what the combine stuff is to really get the the yeah. the, the value up in the in most of probably the seems like community. a mid four or five guy. Yeah, doesn't seem like a track but star. He's but he's yeah for sure. Well, yeah, it's I, I think I, just I, a speed he, score four I, four one. They got him projected. That's he's, fucking wow. fast as shit. He seems again going off of memory and watching games. He seems pretty complete and and. I'm not worried about. You're just hoping that it could be more than the first two downs for for yeah. him. Oh, yeah. for sure, he's That's, shown that. Well, you just if again if he doesn't perform Seventh well in receiving yards, if he doesn't Casey. perform well at the combine. There's gonna be a lot of people who are just gonna well. say. He's probably profiles more as a one one first and I second bet he down cuts back. Some weight and runs a decent forty. Could. They do that. Catches yeah, balls. Well, this sounds like a fucking slam I, dunk. I, I really, really like him. So I'm not. I'm not saying that's what I'm saying. I'm, probably the. I said he. I thought he was the most complete guy. I really like him. I'm just saying what, how I think the, the most, spin is going to go. And, the and most what's, complete guy. I think that's Bijan. Well, sure. I mean, that's a good. Yeah. Well, they, he, he, his name should be excluded from all talk unless otherwise specified. Okay. We're talking about all the rest of the running backs, not Bijan Robinson. <laughs> but Charbonnet is probably available in the second, in, in probably in the second round. In rookie drafts, yeah, I, I think fringe. I think, be a I think, I think fringe first, second rounder. Yeah. There'll be an A chain. He'll be in that. Uh, he'll be in that Charbonnet <laughs> uh, feud uh, going on there with certain he'll, different people. He'll be in that, in that Isaiah Spiller. Now, if he tests well, he sure. will for sure, sure be a first round pick. Well, yeah. I shouldn't say for sure, but right if now, I was looking at thinking if under a four five, it's a done. Fucking if he runs deal. under a four five, that's fucking fantastic. It's a done yeah. deal. Yeah. People are going to be excited about that if that happens. I don't know if that's going to happen. I would be in that camp. I don't even give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, but I'm just saying if that happens, he will be, I would assume, a surefire This dude first profiles rounder. like a workhorse. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Had 23 catches last year. You know? So does Tyler Algier, but that doesn't Out of 25 that's not, targets. That's not that's stopping you from getting a second round pick for him, but hey, what do I know? <laughs> Where do you think Charbonne Char- is going to go in the NFL? Uh, who the fuck knows? But what are the thirty-two teams? And I, I like Algier coming out. If he, was, again, if he tests well, he'll, he'll probably he could walk himself into the second Algier, round of the Algier did not test of well. the NFL draft. Right. Possibly, if he doesn't, I mean, he's probably going to be a third, third, fourth guy. You hope he goes in the third for your fantasy stock, and then you know the fourth is, you know, no one could ever be good in the fourth. <laughs> forget about it. Yeah, not even Damian Pierce. Mm-mm. All right, up Ain't next no we have a. Uh, Old Tank Bigsby. Mm, this is a weird. Sounds like a weird, Dave Chappelle character. Yeah, I know, right? A lot of hype coming into the year, but it seemed like it di- it died down a little. They bit. They just don't know how to use him. I think that's part of the problem. Is that what it is? Yeah. I, well, they also that that gotta they, use me up. Number one in the name game right now. Strong name. Sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, it just seems like he's busting off cars. <laughs> He's busting off big big plays, and then Auburn just goes away from him for a quarter and a half. Granted, like I said, their team was a dumpster fire this year. So, how much production did he have? He had 976 rushing yards, good for 5.4 yards, 5.5 yards per clip. He's coming in at six foot, 204 pounds. So, got the requisite size I there. Got 213. So that, that somewhere in there, that's a good size. Somewhere between, we'll call him a 208. Yeah, well, he has. 42 targets for 30 receptions, another 180 receiving yards, 60 missed tackles forced. Mm. So definitely on the the shiftier side there. But yeah, Bigsby's been coming. He's been he's been playing in the SEC last year. He had a better year. He had a better year in terms of yards, a little higher in yards per carry this year. But I mean, his worst season's 834 rushing yards. Don't let the liberal media. Tell you how to th- 
Santa and Pete. Yeah, from the words of Mr. Bigsby himself. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Eight hundred. Yeah, but I mean, he came. He came out of the gate running strong. Did Mr. Bigsby? So. Yeah, and then you know you love seeing the receiving production, tied yep. for eleventh in targets. No, fourteenth uh, in targets, tied for twentieth in receptions. So you know, putting in a little bit of work there. Anytime you see a guy who can bang, and get that many attempts and still catch the ball, you know, I don't know what the target share was, but the the number of targets and receptions are decent. Twenty-one uh, years old. Target oh, share God. was uh, nine point three percent, seventy-fourth percentile. My apologies. No, you're okay. How dare you leave that out? I have it. Just what do you saying. hate metrics? Yes. <laughs> hate, hate, hate. Um, no. <laughs> if you have hate in your heart, let it out. Um. <laughs> Double hate. Loathe entirely. Oh, about to be Grinch time. Merry sure Christmas. Is. Oh, that's not a classic. Happy Tank, holidays. Tank will be 22 by the start of next year's NFL season. Wait, real quick. What's your, what, which one's your favorite Grinch movie? Oh, Jim Carrey. Oh, the Jim Carrey one? Okay. Yeah. Have you seen the new one? I have not seen the new one. It's, the new one. The new one's pretty good. Like the animated one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah, like yeah. Pharrell on the yeah. narration? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that one's pretty and, strong. And um, uh, Keenan Thompson plays the neighbor and the music's all done by Tyler, the creator. <laughs> Yeah, I it's it's that. pretty good. Yeah, it's good. It's I good. like it. It's good. It's uh, definitely interesting. I like the cartoon just for a quick. It's like thirty minutes long. He's fucking a little quickie. The old you know. One? Yeah, yeah, like the ridge. Yeah, we all know you're good for a quickie. <laughs> Finishing that <laughs> that's, thing. That's, quick. the only, that's the only thing you know how to do. That's not true. I'm good for like fifteen minutes, man. How long are you legitimately <laughs> going during sex here? Come on, what what are we doing? I need three. I'm good. Three minutes? Yeah. Three pumps. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to go 15 minutes, but <laughs> well, if I had to go 15. I get the flag, and then I'm out of there. You get the flag? <laughs> the three pumps. I thought you were, uh, oh, three. Yeah, you can only do two pumps. I thought you guys were making fun of me for the 15 minutes, but that sounds like I'm, I'm winning there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <sighs> Moving on. I was watching Yellowstone, she was like, "We got to make up uh, for a week's worth of loving in eight hours." And I'm like, "Jesus Christ, <laughs> eight hours of loving for a week! Like, that's a lot of fuck." I don't even have that much time to give. <laughs> it's like all they're doing is fucking. Well, that's another story for another time. She, <laughs> she's who Shiv in Succession wishes she could be. Shiv wishes she was like as cutthroat and badass as the Dutton. Uh, yeah, but I like Shiv. I like Shiv too, but she she like she fucks herself by getting like too petty, too selfish, too like too uh, obvious. She's like reaching. She's like not as smart as she thinks she is, which is what her dad says, and he's fucking he's always right. So. Succession, strong show. The third season, their fourth season's coming out. Fourth, Another fourth, season's about to come out. I don't season. think I've seen the third or fourth. The fourth's the fourth not out, out yet. yet. It's about to come out yet. All right. Well, who's coming out next? Uh, we have uh, a husband hopeful and Blake Corum. Mm. Bummer he got injured. Yeah, because he was playing strong. Donovan Michigan, Edwards yeah. filled in nicely on a couple runs there. Oh, Donovan Edwards, so good. Yeah. Yeah, so good. He's uh, another probably guy we're going to talk about next year. So Corum, Corum tore it yeah. up this year. T- took took over for Charbonnet. Yeah, 14, uh, 14 61 yards, 5.9 yards per carry, 19 touchdowns total. Only 11 targets, but did have 31 targets last year of 24 receptions. So he can do it. I think part of that is just the quarterback, just a little bit different coming from McCarthy over to um, uh, I can't remember. His can't name. remember his name either. He just transferred. He's in the he's in the he's in the portal now. Yeah. But yeah. Anyways, um, but yeah, he's he's the shortest guy though. Five eight two hundred. So stocky. Oh yeah, muscle hamster, if you will. Mm-hmm. Not quite. I mean, he, wh- that dude was like five eight two thirty or <laughs> something. <laughs> what, what kind of what kind of what kind of numbers did he put up? For what? For the year. In general. I just said it. 1461, 5.9 yards per carry. 19 total touchdowns, 11 targets, 10 receptions. I just said that. All right. All right. I'm just, we're just checking back in. I just needed a thought. 
wanted to yeah, talk a little the, more about his the, production. And then I said last year he had, did have 31 targets, 24 receptions, and then I brought in the quarterbacks. Yeah. Yeah, but he did nothing before that. The year before that, he had 77 yards at three yards per carry. So is, does that excite you or is that? I mean, he's looked so good, though. He's coming out. I'd be surprised if he didn't. All these guys are coming out according to Matt. None of these guys are coming out according to KZ. <laughs> I'm not saying none. I'd be, su- none, but I, I I'd think, be surprised I think, if any I think of, two at least are coming back. I'd be surprised if any of the people, any of the guys I just listed, I'd be surprised if more than one of them came back. Yeah. I mean, once we get to a full list of running backs here, sure. I, think, I think a good handful. I think people back. were surprised that Charbonnet even came back. Yeah, definitely. Last year they were shocked that he came back. Yeah. I mean, he's for sure coming out. I would have. Yeah, I, th- I don't. I don't, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I'm sure he's got a year of eligibility left because that 2020 year. But he's not that old though, in comparison. Yeah, I don't think he's again for running backs. I don't care too too much. Um, you got any other guys on there? Yes, we have the last but not least of Kendra Miller. He is at uh 1,260 yards rushing. At Where's he from? Six point three yards per carry from Texas Christian University. Nice fans. <laughs> Why? I don't know. They came to Clemson one year when I was there, and Andy Dalton was playing, and they fucking beat us because Andy Dalton was rushing for first downs. We could not stop this, the chains moving. And could stop the red rifle. And after the after this fucking game, we were, we had been tailgating with these TCU fans, like being hospitable, and they were so nice. And then after the game, I couldn't even be mad at them. I was just I wanted to be so mad, but they were just like the nicest people ever. Yeah, the Alabama fans when they came to State College were super nice too. And fuck Alabama and the fans, but that's <laughs> nicest fans in the land over there. You know, I mean, Brandon Walker called Clemson the biggest cult in college football. So, uh, God, is that that's like endearing, right? I mean, sure, if you want to be called a cult, I don't want to drink be. the Kool Aid, baby. I don't want to be involved. No, I don't want to be involved either. I mean, there's no spaceship. Dabo seems like a cult leader for sure. He does, for sure. He hates everything about modern college I'm football. I'm in the Clemson cult for sure. Can't have sideburns. That's for fucking sure. He doesn't have sideburns. It's <laughs> well, the one, his one downfall. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah, he should really grow a Wait, little really? bit. Really? Yeah. I've he never should, looked. He should just grow like just a little bit. Just, just give me a little hint of a give sideburn. Me, give just me a, 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 a a tinge. A square in. Yeah, I chain. Eighteen targets, fourteen receptions, one hundred fifteen receiving Miller. yards. Miller. Miller. What the fuck does I chain for? 18 yes. targets, 14 yard receptions, six foot, 220. Another another strong size guy. Yeah, he had a when they played Texas, he had a he had a strong game, I believe. I think um, uh, Bijan had a had a down game against them. Yeah, well, I've almost tweeted after that game. Oh yeah, because I looked Is it Miller up. the real number one. I looked it up, and <laughs> Bijan against Alabama and TCU had like 140 yards combined rushing between both games. But other than that, he's been going off. Yeah. Kendry Miller projected 40 times 458 and not any good. Bust. Don't draft him. Just forget a, everything I just it's said. It's not good when the projection's that high. <laughs> yeah. The college projection. Uh, anybody got anybody to add? Favorites? Anything else to talk about? One more guy that should just throw his name. I don't have a bunch of stats or anything, but Jace McClellan out of Alabama is eligible. 5'11, 212. Fast as a fuck. Uh, Give him a crease. Your boy Shipley's not eligible? Nah, not till next year. That 24 class. Sophomore. (laughs) Which Shipley, you know, strong overall player. I wish he had the breakaway speed. That's the one thing he's like lacking. He's He's no no Nick Singleton. I don't know who that is. What about Mohamed Ibrahim? Seems like a bowling ball. Ibrahim? Yeah. He had that injury last year, Yeah, that Achilles came back. Apparently he can come back from the Achilles injury. Did come back really strong look at Dante Foreman he would have came out last year too I, yeah he was I think I think I think he is career. Minnesota's offense yeah other than former first round overall projected pick Tanner Morgan yep 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 all right uh Deuce Vaughn probably honorable mention here yeah um bit of a smaller guy but Chase Brown as well too from Illinois I think he's leading the league and leading the nation in rushing or he's in the top three Chase Brown is number two. Okay. Um, 1632. Kendall Milton out of Georgia. Yeah, there's a couple of guys from 
there's a, a Macintosh from Georgia, other Georgia running back, I believe, is also eligible as well, too. All right. Well, some some names and some stats, and to get you again caught up with that. The, the, these are all just guys to add in the old tickler file. <laughs> For sure. Um, so, you know, we just did the wide receivers. These are the running backs. We'll certainly be really diving into these a whole lot deeper and forming opinions and tiers and, and all that kind of stuff. And then and we need to get a profile video out stat melding those things together. So we will certainly start on profile videos. And when we're doing profiles, you can, you guys can comment below on who you might want to see next or yeah, let us know who we missed, who you like, right? Anybody that we didn't mention that you want to get us, get, get it a shout out to hit me in the comment section below. Got to wait till the senior bowl really to do anything. Oh yeah. I can't wait to go um, to the senior bowl and see for sure see people in the senior bowl. I'm going to definitely go. <laughs> I'll be there. You can probably get us tickets to the shrine to the Shrine Bowl. Oh, let's that's in Vegas, right? Let's yeah. go there. Idiots. <laughs> <laughs> you can definitely <laughs> watch football. <laughs> Never been to Vegas. Neither have I. I, I want to go I, when I can catch a Raiders. Game. I haven't either. Never been. None of us have been to Ra to Vegas. No. I bet you couldn't find three other guys <laughs> in the whole entire world that had never been. None of them been to Vegas. I've been a lot of places and done some decent amount of gambling. I fucking grew up in New Mexico and I've never been to Vegas. That's mm. that's sad. You weren't that old though. I was less than ten. Yeah. Um. No, I'm I'm definitely down to go. I'm just. I'm waiting, waiting to for pick my weekend. right time. I got, I'm not going to your stupid fucking bachelor party in Vegas. Catch okay? a Raiders game and a hockey game same same uh, weekend. Then relax at the pool and gamble. That's Hang off Mark Davis. Go to P.F. Chang's. See a show. Idea. Yeah. No, I think no one's there for the shows. Brittany's still there. I think John Legend's there. I yeah. don't want to see Brittany. It's Brittany, it's bitch. Brittany bitch. <laughs> Man. <laughs> fresh Brittany. Oh, my God. Like, hit me, baby, one more time. That video. She's in the... The Catholic schoolgirl outfit. Oh my god! Yeah, you got it. You know. That's really. You know. <laughs> really quite oh, the era awesome. right there. I was on some Britney, man. I was like, what were you like, thirteen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably twelve. Yeah. Just found yourself. Yeah, all you young kids out there, we didn't have we didn't have great <laughs> porn access then. So. Yeah, we had magazines <laughs> and shit. Sometimes music videos had to get it done. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes schoolgirl outfit. That's all you needed. I was looking at the Sears catalog. <laughs> Just trying to get done before Justin Timberlake hits the screen. <laughs> nope, Carson Daly, get off the screen. No. <laughs> oh, and actually, I do like Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Forever unclean. <laughs> I'll be looking up for them for them bra and panties matches. <laughs> Only reason to gotta watch tape wrestling. those. Gotta tape yeah. those. That's that's gold. Channel what seventy seven. Oh my Channel god. 77. <laughs> Channel fucking, seventy seven. Channel seventy seven. Like, I don't know what that is. It was the porn channel, and it would like blur. You could get it on ca ca basic porn. cable. But what are like, you fucking Jason <laughs> Biggs American Pie? That's a tit. That's a tit. Yeah, basically. Uh, all right. Well, yeah, we just lost porn all. these let's, days. Let's get the fuck so out of good. here. <laughs> Get a burner cell phone. Okay, use your old cell phone so you don't get any viruses, you know? Words for wisdom. Life hacks. So the only word of wisdom is turn your fucking Bluetooth off. That's all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. when you're about to watch porn on your phone, disable Bluetooth because you don't want it playing in the living room. All of a sudden you hear a boop. speaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm definitely going to get caught on the Bluetooth speaker one day. Mm -hmm. Didn't you get in the car, your wife get in the car and start playing over the fucking over Overnight, car overnight one time. <laughs> left, left it up. I just picked it right up. What was it? I don't know. She was telling us about it. It was like... She's never seen porn in her life, I don't yeah. think. Yeah. So. Yeah. Any title would have really... You know. There's a 90% chance it was Step Something, because that's the only thing you can watch out there. It's all... <laughs> It's Step Brothers? Like the, the data's in, and apparently that's what works for people, so it's everything. Step Sisters? Anyway, clear your browser history. <laughs> Jesus. So be sure to like, subscribe, we'll comment below. Here. Patreon.com. <laughs> get access to the Discord channel. Definitely leave me a five star subscribe. Uh, review. Wait. Review. I'll take a five star <laughs> subscription, too. Only That's for fans. the only fans. Only fans starting soon. <laughs> Yo, that uh, Sil Saving Silverman, the Sarah Silverman, S Sarah Silverman commercial, where she's like, "How would I even do that? Check me out on Big Natural 
Tiptoes.net And she like She gives that little snarl That's fucking That's comic genius right there Dot net <laughs> You know it's a real It's gotta be a real website I haven't looked it up But it's gotta be like It's gotta be her feet right She's gotta already have that She's Some- like I'll do the commercial But you gotta promote this <laughs> Foot website <laughs> I don't think that was tied into the... I gotta save money for when I get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, maybe one day we'll be good enough to get canceled. Cancel me. Till then. Come on. Appreciate y'all. Peace.